All right, Acadian back to his early moves. He went from uh, blue buff up to red buff. Should look good. An early flash by Someday still gonna get followed on. This could be all the damage that they need. Someday has just not got anywhere to go. A quick first blood picked up, Acadian. Now let's see what's next up here. Acadian wants to go into this jungle, look for the the Krugs to steal away, maybe some pressure. Again, bot lane heavily pushed and lot a little bit low. The flash root gonna oh. miss wide by Gage. Here's the push in for special. Exhaust force, Q's gonna land, not gonna go any farther. Or... Nope, not gonna dive the turret, although it was close. Offensively used flash, gonna get punished. And it's gonna dive for it. Wow, the turnaround over, stepping the Echo Fox support. Oh, he's down there. He he used the blast cone. All right, well, all right, let's check in on Chaser, but it is tank to tank and Looper's not playing far up, so. Yeah. Uh, he has level anyway. 6 for Nautilus, though. 6 for Nautilus. Hook's going to pull him away from the turret as well. Misses the W somehow, but Looper's just got no HP. Running, and one more hit will do it. Chaser gets the kill. Credit. Mm -hmm. Accounting here for Echo Fox, which, yeah, you know, top lane CS is pretty big, but Acadian is level 6. Kick into the stun's going to lay. Look at the combo. Perfect execution. Quick kill pickup, and someday, why even teleport? Looks like we might have a collapse, though. Pretty blind map for Dignitas, but they are... He's moving chaser, everyone towards mid. Yeah. They, he they he tried, yeah, he tried to bait out Gates grasping roots and then said, okay, he's not going for the early shot. Let's go for it here. Quick knock him through. Someday has found Keith. Here comes Akadian for the defense right there, trying to keep them all alive. Froggen just getting locked up right there, but Akadian does get the first kill on Someday. Stun's going to land on the Keen, and in goes Chaser, but he doesn't have the damage. Law does, though, as Froggen pops. And it's a one for one. Top laner for mid laner down. And now Looper, the target of attention of the affection. Grasping Roots, the kick coming back in for Acadian. Looks for Chaser. Oh! And he gets several of them. Even more coming through. And Echo Fox starts slaughtering the Team Lignitas lineup. That's a four for two with map control to boot. And the turret going to go down. What a turn there. They're going to get that turret as well. Just like he said, opening up the map of Acadia. Going for a kill. The Madman, he does it. Put him on the yeah, side, Reddit. That was a mad lad <laughs> move right there. Gives away a free kill. I think if he doesn't flash, he might yeah, die there. Exactly. Special wasn't exactly you get, low. He gets snared up. Uh, unless Gate was some sort of healing or shielding support. Yeah. That is a... I thought you were Lulu. Ah. He's dead, though. Nicely there played go. there. Stun over the wall. Acadian this time gets away from the turret. Much better execution there. But look at this Echo Fox really turning on the mid game. That's the stun combo. Look at oh, the damage. That's that wall play oh, we are talking about. man. Speed with which uh, they end out games, uh, they might still be looking at, but they are looking much more focused than they did last season, right? And here they go again, onto a special. Dates it out well enough to not be attacked while the stun duration times out. Looper in the front line, losing out pretty rapidly. Gets a quick summoner heal in for Keith, and the shots in, still not gonna kill off the Maokai, staying alive the whole time, and finally kill comes through. Kick brings in another one as Keen loses his life. Well played by Acadian, six, one, and three on this Lee Sin, playing quite nicely still. Taking all the uh, outers for themselves. Someday might get one here, but either way, I think they should uh, teleport. give up this bear. I mean, Echo Fox are going to burn through it, plus they have all the vision. All right, maybe they're going to go for it. Right on top of the board. They've got a Rexus down pretty fast. Chaser's here. He's got to look. Uh, it's secured by Frog. And okay, and Chaser going to be on the chopping block. One kill going to come through. And they're peeling well enough. There's not enough damage to kill oh, off Keith. He stays playing. alive. Just barely a Caden in. Then out. A Nivea wall put up, but doesn't clutch much. A flash over the wall gets him away from Keen. And now this poor Rise is very, very overextended. But Realm warps right back out. Not enough damage coming out of Frog. And that was interesting looking. Try and answer this, but they give up a couple more kills. Speedy Kill! Bird! Kill! Goodbye, Bird of Prey takes him out, Frog, and on a rampage. Upwards of 50 minutes taken yeah. by them. Very cautious. This time around, no shuts case. 22 minutes. An inhibitor turret going to take a beating. 50% faster. Much quicker one right now. Echo Fox hoping to continue to push in onto this base. Let's see. Yeah, somebody still holding on the front line. Just gets away from the wall. But honestly, Froggen doing so well on this Anivia, playing his signature picks. Showing why people ban it so yeah. often, still and, to this day. And North America is the only region actually playing Twisted Fate right now, according to the stats I've seen. So, I mean, pocket picks really for days from this mid laner, essentially. Most pro TF games are actually Froggen himself so far this year. Of course, Anivia the same. And, these pieces are working 11,000 gold up. Now Echo Fox looking for bot lane tier two. The wave's coming in. Still plenty of time left on this Varen buff. They've got to be careful. They're stuck in a very small compartment. Knockup's going to land on Akeith as well as Froggen. And someday just can't quite tank long enough. The team is going to back out. 
And uh, they keep on rolling here. Train continues. Looking for a bit more. Bot lane inhibitor turret under fire. When will Team Dignitas decide to defend their base? Instead, they're just trying to wave clear. Mid inhibitor is already gone. Looks like bottom is just now a formality. If you wouldn't fight for the turret, don't fight for the thing that can't defend itself anymore. And that's double inhibitor taken 23 and a half minutes in. Echo Fox now already have the minion wave for the top side. And Lod's got to be a little bit careful. He backs out quickly enough. And the minion wave is there. This is going to be triple inhibitor. They catch only Looper. He's the tank. That's okay. Chase from the wings. Can't pick off Frog and exhausted. His health bar is gone. Keith on a rampage now as well. And another turret is gone. That's triple inhibitor. Dignitas, nothing else to fight for. And that'll be all three down. Super Minions inside the base. And Echo Fox, 24 minutes in, looking for the win now. Stunning a Someday. In goes Akadian, looks for the kick back, brings in the tank, jumps back out to his team, and Someday has lost his life. 5v3, no defense left to be had. The fastest game Echo Fox have ever won. That's going to be the going down. And Echo Fox find their first win over Team Dignitas.